What's going on guys, today we're going to be watching and reacting to Daredevil Season 2 Episode 6 which is titled Regrets Only. So very excited to get into this, uh, last we left off with actually Matt was at Electra's place and it seemed like she was kind of setting him up to help her out with this little mission she's on and we learned a little bit about their backstory and how they met and the problems that happened between them and the, the fact that she was really trying to get Matt to kill the guy who killed Matt's father. I thought that was a really interesting storyline. Then we had some more development between Matt and Karen and their relationship, which I mean, they're not like dating dating, but um, they got on a couple dates or they went on one date last episode and we watched it and it was an enjoyable uh, few scenes of that. and. More development on the Punisher situation. Karen's learning more about that. So, yeah, I guess we could see what happens next in this episode. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch this. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the people that were going to, uh, yeah, Electra's place. I'm excited to see Electra in action. I'm assuming she'll be killing, no problem. She looks pretty cool. Fighting looks pretty good. Oh, that's a really cool shot. Damn. That was really good. I love the red eyes. Hungry? Mm. Come on, that's enough. You've eaten enough. Talk. <laughs> it's the best feeling when you're eating really good food when you're really hungry. They're a mistake because now they're after us. No, uh-uh. There is no us. <laughs> If it really is her problem, then you gotta just get out of there and stop talking to her. Last time I saw you, you put a knife in my hand and asked me to slit Roscoe Sweeney's throat. Yep. I happen to respect human life. If we do this, if, then I need to know you're at least gonna pretend to feel the same way. Mm, I really doubt she'll follow through with that. I have a rule of my own. No sex. <laughs> this may come as a surprise to you. I've actually moved on in the 10 years since you left. <laughs> what you want. <laughs> I kind of love this thing between them here. It's really entertaining. Is this your first case? Second. I won my first. Domestic violence. I believe in protecting women. Thanks from all of us. <laughs> <laughs> he like stared at her when he said that. New York will sleep better knowing Frank Castle's behind bars. I know I will. Sleep even better when he's dead. Uh, dead? A lethal injection, probably, although... Really? They're gonna sentence him to death? If we keep messing with Reyes, we'll be shuttered by the end of the Come month. Come on, if we stand up to her, we could actually end her incessant bullying. And possibly save this guy's life. A murderer who shot at you. For reasons that I don't fully understand okay. yet. Karen's got a lot of uh, sympathy. I can't believe we're even discussing this. He chained you to a roof. <laughs> His methodology is clearly wrong. In his own kind of way, he was trying to do something noble. Yeah, that graveyard monologue gave him a lot of insight on Punisher. I'm glad we're back on the Frank Castle storyline. Like, electric stuff was interesting, but I don't find it nearly as interesting as the stuff going on with the Punisher. The DA wants the death penalty. Public defender is all but ready to roll over and help. I'll even extradite Castle out of New York. That's what it takes. This is what I thought I would be. We'd be seeing. I mentioned this before in an earlier episode. I thought maybe they would have something where, you know, Nelson and Murdoch would be defending him in court. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! You let us take your case. We can soften your sentence. And give you a shot. Maybe even find out who's responsible for what happened to you. Which is what he wanted. He wanted to find out who was responsible for that. 
for what happened to his family. Kind of like what you did for Grotto. Huh? <laughs> Karen, 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 Loggy. Do you want answers? Oh shit! Oh shit! Karen, chill. Where did you get that? Karen, you gotta chill sometimes. Why were you in my house? Who's in there? Oh God, Ray's. Oh God. You three out. This is the worst woman now. in the whole world. <laughs> she wants it to end quickly so she can move on to burying us. Just deal with one problem at a time. So where are we supposed to start? Let's have the charges and evidence summary brought here. We can weed through it and work out what terms we want directly with Frank. It's the biggest thing they've ever gone up against. Even bigger than the Kingpin thing, honestly. It's more at stake here. Oh, Electra? What the fuck is Electra up to now? Yeah, that, that new client I mentioned. Um, I forgot I scheduled a meeting. When? Well, I guess it's now, I spoke last. Just, why do you st kill, keep dealing with Electra? Just let her do her own thing and just tell her to fuck herself. Like, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this officially happening? Are you guys dating? <laughs> Not, not labeling it. <laughs> you know, I, I, why don't I, why don't I work you out? <laughs> Damn, look at his facial expression change there. Charlie Cox is incredible. You can't just send a car for me whenever you Get decide undressed. that you want. <laughs> what? It's my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to all of them? Yeah, he, he'll admit to what he did. He's not going to lie about it. He's proud of what he's done, you know? Took our blanket down to our spot. She was by the carousel on the lawn. I heard a shout, scream. Who did you see? Didn't. I found out later. The cartel. Irish. Bikers. Should have seen it coming. My job was to keep them safe. I didn't. I didn't do it. I think. Again, fantastic character, fantastic performance. Nice. Get him to go to the bathroom. You can't be mad. Yeah, you, you you can't be mad at a blind person. <laughs> I only hurt people that deserve it. I wanted you to know that. You think you deserved it? I do. You know, I used to do hits for the Irish, huh? One time you shot an old lady because she saw his face. He didn't tell you that, huh? Yeah, she didn't know that. Point is, you were safe, okay? I just wanted you to know that. You went to, you were in my house. You, you never went back. Hmm. How about in the next room, G? That, that piano that was there? Yeah. 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 My son Frank Jr., he, he used to grab a handful of cookies and take them and hide them in that bench. You know, he play soldier. Guard it, protect it. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad he came back. I, th I thought he was done for the, the whole series, to be honest. I thought he was just going to show up in The Punisher next. But, nope. They actually gave him some more story in this season. There were drawings on the walls and... Uh, sports trophies on the dressers. I got those gone all that side. There's a lot of that. She's just little. She used to make these little noises when she played with them. I might actually cry again. <laughs> I might. That was an amazing scene. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, he's not even in costume. <laughs> Damn. Three life sentences without the possibility of parole. But as the Nelson and Nelson and Murdoch, I got her down to one with the possibility of parole in 25 years. That's the good news. And the bad? She wouldn't budge on protective custody. He's gonna have to be in general pop. Uh, no, he'll be, he'll be surrounded by criminals. People out for his blood. Don't he doesn't care. <laughs> He'd love that. He'd fucking love that. He'd kick all their asses. Okay, so when the judge and Reyes come in, all you have to do is say three simple words. Guilty, your honor. I feel like he's not going to just simply say that. I feel like he's going to say a little bit more. How does the defendant plead? Oh, shit. 
I plead not guilty. Oh shit. You hear that witch? Oh, I'm gonna let you burn right along Counselor, with you. Counselor, please control your Do you hear me? I, I'm sorry, Your Honor. The defendant has entered a plea of not guilty. A court date will be set upon consultation with the DA's office. A court date? They're going to court. Matt's busy doing fucking nonsense with Electra. <laughs> That's an incredible skill right there. The way he can hear into that, so he can get the right combination. There you go. The rocks on ledger. Oh no, we gotta go. There were swords in there. You should have picked up the swords. They looked kind of cool. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I love how they're not in costume. I love that. It's so unique. It's so different. That's their way of playing this off. Matt's having fun. <laughs> they're they're fun to watch, I will say. She's a bad influence on him, but they're fun to watch. We were attacked. What? I would never betray you. I have nothing but respect for the Yakuza. Who said I was Yakuza? Oh. Some sort of an inside job? What the fuck? Foggy's gonna be pissed. Why are you fancy? What's going on? <laughs> Frank pled not guilty, Matt. What? And it gets worse. Ray has pulled every string she has and fast-tracked the trial. All right, all right, so we, uh, we motion to extend. We, um, maybe streamline our case theory and not waste time fighting any charges. You don't understand, Matt. Frank agreed. He thinks he's sticking it to Reyes or something. I hope your schedule is clear, buddy, because the people versus Frank Castle starts next week damn that better be the main focus in next episode like i said electra is fun to watch i just want to see that, lo that law shit lawyer shit i want to see all that next episode 100 percent. because that sounds really exciting damn all right that was a solid solid episode i i, I don't know how this show manages to just keep me engaged 100 percent every single new episode but it, it has managed to do that all throughout the first season and now throughout the first six episodes of season two and we are heading to what i would consider to be like the mid-season finale i guess episode sevens would be mid-season finales right kind of i know they don't split it off the same way like the walking dead does for example but it's kind of like midway through the season so i'm just going to call it the midway point very excited to check that next episode out um this episode had a lot going on it was kind of split up between the stuff with Matt and Electra, which was kind of like a side mission. It wasn't really the main story that they're focused on right now. I'm sure that's going to have more importance down the road. I'm sure they're going to do something with Electra that'll kind of tie everything together. But for now, it just seems like it's kind of like a side thing where it almost seems like it's unnecessary for the main story. But I think it's going to have more importance for Matt going forward. So I'm just going to kind of wait and hold off judgment for that storyline until we get to see it unfold. But as for the Frank Castle stuff in this episode, that stuff was incredible. Just like it was in the first four episodes, it's still on a roll. I'm very glad John Bernthal is back in this show. I honestly had a feeling he was just going to be brought into the Punisher and there was not going to be any more of him left in the Daredevil series. But it seems like they are focusing on him just a little bit more in the series, which, like I said, is really damn exciting. So I cannot wait to see more of that. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about this episode, to be completely honest. I... Really did enjoy it. If you want to see a full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video or subscribe to the channel. I will see you at the next one. Peace out.